Hey everyone, how's it going? So at, th at this point, the large language model Llama 3 from Meta is out. Um, it's actually been out for a few weeks now. And I commonly get the question, like, how do I get started with Llama 3? How do I use Llama 3? Uh, because it is a quite powerful model in a lot of categories. Uh, Llama 3, out benchmarks, GPT, from, you know, like ChatGPT from OpenAI and other models uh, like from companies like Anthropic. It is quite powerful, um, but it is a little bit hard to get started. Uh, you can download uh, Llama 3 from Meta and it, it downloads the actual model, which is multiple gigabytes. And it's it's very hard to, to run or get started um, if you're not super familiar with that kind of stuff. So there's not a lot of options to just kind of quickly get started, like an actual managed API where it, where it just kind of works. Um, but I do know this service Fire, Fireworks AI. Um, it's a quite nice service. Like, and by the way, I, I have sort of, I have no affiliation <laughs> with, with these guys. I think it's just one of the easier options to get started. Um, and we'll kind of walk through go through a, a simple Python setup of getting the the API code snippet and then trying it out for the first time, just to show you guys how to get started with it and how you could start to integrate it with your apps. Um, and it, it seems to also, yeah, it seems like this is the easier, easiest way that I know right now. I think there's a couple other services, uh, but this Fireworks service also is, is quite fast. Um, it, it generates the response in, in around 200 tokens per second, if that means anything to you. It's it's not quite as fast as another service called Grok, G-R-O-Q, but it's, it's it's up there. And, you you know, a lot of chat responses, if you're doing chatbot, you could probably consistently get less than one second uh, response time. It, it's quite quick. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to follow a few steps here. We're just going to log in, get an API key, get our code snippet. And then we'll hop in over to our code editor and then try to make our first request. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and log in here and then get started and just uh, skip to the part where I'm at the dashboard. Okay, so I had logged in here, and if you, you log in, you would see this little little icon at the top right corner of your screen. So what we're going to do is actually just go onto the models page here. And there's a lot of cool other models you can use with, with Fireworks AI. They also have um, the Fire Lava model, which allows you to... Um, it, it's sort of a multi modal API, so it can understand... Um, text and images uh, very well. Uh, there's also a stable diffusion three, which generates um, which generates images. And there's there's a few other ones you can play around here. We're just going to try this llama not llama three seventy b instruct. Um, so this is this is seventy b. I don't think Fireworks AI has the eight b model, which is a smaller one. But they have the more powerful one seventy b, and this is what we're going to use to get started. Um, so you can see here when you cl click on that, you can see a little chat window and you can um, ask questions here or, or use it in this way. Um, and that's fine. And there's also a few options here for configuring it and getting your code snippet to try it out. Um, there's a lot of kind of uh, options here like top K and all, all these other things. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about these too much. Um, stop is also kind of useful. It can kind of tell you when when you want to stop the output or say, you know, um, say certain keywords when you want it to stop generating. Uh, but the only ones you might really care about usually is this temperature and max tokens. The max tokens kind of just is like a, a limit for how big the response is. If you, if you want a, a medium max response about a medium, you can just leave it as the default a thousand, but you can make it a little bit smaller. Or if you expect to generate like larger outputs, like large articles, you could, you could crank it up a little bit. And the, and the temperature, Usually you can leave it around 0 0.6, but it kind of tells you, determines the, the um, how consistent the, the outputs are. Or um, So if you want it to kind of be more consistent or more structured, uh, you can, can kind of crank it down to zero. But if you want it to be kind of 
more more wild and varied you can you can crank it up all the way you can kind of think of it as like creativity if you want creative outputs or different or unexpected things you can crank it up but if you want like reliable um results that kind of work similar each time like like structured outputs you might want to crank it down um so we'll just leave it at this and if you can if you go to view code you can actually see right away you can click over to python and see the code snippet um but it, it doesn't show you the messages which is what you really need to feed in um if you want to ask questions you have to add it to the messages thing and the the model will respond so what you can actually do to just get an example of what the input looks like you can just say hi here in the chat and fireworks does this kind of cool thing where it kind of adds in the format um so if we want to get a code snippet we really can just start with this yeah this is high here and, and just start with this so let's hop over to our code editor code editor actually and i'm using and i use visual studio code but you can use whatever code editor you want. And I'm going to create a new file called llama3.py. And I'm just going to kind of paste in this code snippet here. Okay. And you can see that this request is kind of squiggly because we don't have that package installed. We just have to install one package. So you could, you just have to do pip install requests. And before I do that, I'm just going to actually, um, this is not required, but it's, I would say it's a recommended practice to do for your projects. Uh, so you can kind of isolate your requirements or, or uh, what you use for a project. You can use virtual ENV, which you can search up on Google, like vir virtual ENV installation Python. Um, oh, I think I might have misspelled it. Virtual ENV, not virtual VN. And on Mac, you just do, to, to go into that, you do period, space, period, VNV, VN, then activate. On Windows, it's probably vnv slash scripts slash activate with capital s but on linux and mac it looks something like this i'm just going to type in clear here so we'll just type in this pip install requests okay and so what we kind of want to do is add in what our we would need a few things here um we would need our message so kind of like what we want to ask um, and we can ask, I don't know, let's just ask a simple question to Llama 3. Uh, what's the capital of Egypt? Just a kind of simple question, you know, answer is obviously Cairo, but uh, just, 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 just to test it out here. And the one other thing you would need is a, is to load in the API key. And you're just going to copy and paste it into here. Uh, what I'm going to do for this tutorial is actually we'll do pip install uh, python dash dot env, which is kind of as a thing I would recommend in general. And then you can do this load dot env, which so it can be a better way to kind of like load in environment variables instead of hard coding your API keys right into your code. Um, and so what I'm going to do is actually just go right over to the settings here and click on API keys and copy it here. So we just, when you log in and register, you get this kind of default API key. So we're just gonna grab that and we can create a .env file. So you, you period env is the file name and we can just call it something like this. Okay. And we can say the API key is import os os.environment and it's a list here so you kind of put in the um, double quotes inside the brackets and the fireworks api key and we can actually go to this header section right here and you want to type in an f right in front of the double quotes for this little string right here so this is an, an f string in python so you can format it and what we could do here is just kind of plug that in right here. Okay. And, and what we just need to do, one thing left to do is just to kind of print the results. So it's good. We're making a web request here with the request package and we just want to check the response and we would, we would just want to print the response and we should be, we should be home free. Uh, so I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to import P 
pprint or pretty, pretty print in Python. This is a built-in package uh, that I would recommend using. It's kind of, it can uh, print things a little bit nicer than the normal print, so it kind of properly spaces out, so it's easier to read. Okay, so, and this is just the getting started. So I remember this, this is actually, we're using Llama 3, and you could substitute the model here, but we just ask a simple question. Um, what is the capital of Egypt? And I'm realizing now, put an F here. And put in the question like that. We're just asking a simple question, what's the capital of Egypt? And we're loading in our API key. And let's see if we can get a response. Um, okay, oh yeah, just one small issue. Um, this is an issue from my end, pretty print is not callable, duh. So what we really have to do actually is from pretty print import pretty print. <laughs> I forgot that Python is like this. It's kind of a weird, um, a weird thing with the pretty print module. Okay, and let's see if we can run it now, see what happens. And um, one other issue, I, I realize I'm printing the response myself. You can, you can probably tell that I'm kind of recording this on the first attempt. So, no. um, so what we really want to probably do is report, report, uh, print the response.txt, not just the response, because that just tells us, okay, sure, there's a response, but we need to get the actual contents. And we, it got something here. Um, yeah, so you can see here, it's formatted a little bit goofy. But you can see right here, the capital of Egypt is Cairo. So, um, so we learned about Egypt from our friend Lana 3. Okay, so this is going to be about it for this tutorial. Um, I just wanted to quickly go through this, go through this setup and show you how to get started. I know this is a quite simple ex example and I didn't dive too much into how actually integrating it. But I just wanted to show you guys how to just get initial start with making your first call with Llama 3 API on Fireworks, because I've been getting asked that quite a bit, that people are not aware of, of an API or like having trouble getting started with Llama 3. So I just want to use this as a very starting point and hopefully you can take it from here. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you. Um, if it didn't, tell me why and how I could do better um, or maybe go into more depth or anything of that sort, but thank you so much and see you in the next video.